Kevin O'Leary just did what? Shark Tank TV star Kevin O'Leary, aka Mr. Wonderful, has shared his cryptocurrency investment strategy and which coins he owns. He also discussed crypto market bubbles, diversifying regulation, and why he thinks NFTs will be bigger than Bitcoin. He explained that he views the entire crypto industry as a software development team, adding that he is betting on really strong creative software engineers. While talking about his cryptocurrency holdings, he revealed, Ether is my largest position, bigger than Bitcoin. It's because so many of the financial services and transactions are occurring on it, the Shark Tank star described. Even new software is being developed like Polygon that consolidates transactions and reduces overall cost in terms of gas fees on Ethereum. O'Leary then mentioned some of the cryptocurrencies he owns, stating, I own Hedera, Polygon, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Serum. These are bets on software development teams and there are many uses for them. Moreover, Mr. Wonderful added that he holds a significant and material position in USDC, noting that he is starting to pay for assets and get paid in the stablecoin. At the end of the day, what determines the platform's success and value in the speed of level of adoption? That occurs when the team has developed a platform that solves an economic problem, he opened. Nothing that long-term coins that have no economic value are that because they don't solve anything or create any value, he cautioned. I'm very skeptical of mean coins long-term. The Shark Tank star was also asked whether he thinks Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies are in a bubble. He replied, the thing to realize is the market is the market. No one can manipulate it, even though people claim they can. It's millions of decisions being made every second in terms of what something is worth. And it applies to every market whether it's tulips, watches, bitcoins, real estate, or gold. Noting that, over the long run, it's a fool's game and you can't win, he stressed. You can't know when it's a bubble, you simply can't. And if you think you do, you're absolutely wrong. O'Leary believes in portfolio diversification. The cryptocurrency portion of his portfolio has been growing. He detailed at some point, cryptocurrency might get to 20% of my operating company. But right now, it's about 10.5. He clarified, Within that portfolio, there's no one token or chain that's more than 5% of that portfolio. So yes, I am actively adding and trimming based on volatility. In addition, he said that he is doing a lot of staking. Most of my positions are now being staked, he confirmed, noting that he's using the cryptocurrency exchange FTX for staking. Mr. Wonderful announced in October that he is taking an equity stake in the crypto exchange and will be paid in crypto to serve as an ambassador and spokesperson for FTX. When asked whether the chance in the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission, or the SEC, could determine some of the cryptocurrencies he owns, 
to be securities and what he will do if that happens, O'Leary promptly replied. The minute the information gets out, I will want nothing to do with them. If I had a position, I would sell it. I have no interest in going into conflict with regulators over my crypto portfolio. I want to be 100% compliant. He said the same about XRP in November. XRP is the subject of the SEC lawsuit against Ripple Labs and his executives Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. I have zero interest in investing in litigation against the SEC. That is a very bad idea, he stressed. O'Leary also discussed NFTs. He quotes, they offer so much value around authentication, inventory management, and all kinds of use cases in different asset classes, he described, adding, I think NFTs or non-fungible tokens are getting bigger than Bitcoin. He proceeded to draw attention to his NFT project. I prefer NFTs tied to hard assets, physical assets. The one I'm working on and developing a white paper for is the watch industry, he said. I made a material investment in Jordan Fried's company, Immutable Holdings, which owns NFT.com, which he's launching in January this year, 2022. What do you think about Kevin O'Leary's comments? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video and you stay to the end, I thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I got another one coming. Crypto World out.